Welcome back to Jason Bowman Loves Cars. I'm Jason Bowman, and I love cars. Today I'm going to tell you my story of the Pontiac Solstice. Hope you enjoy it. To be honest, before this project, I really didn't know a lot about the Solstice. They had been popping up in my marketplace searches of other sports cars. I've noticed that they've become quite affordable. Being both poor and a lover of sports cars, the Solstice got my attention. The Pontiac Solstice was a sports car that was produced by Pontiac, which was formerly a division of General Motors. The Solstice debuted at the 2004 North American International Auto Show. Production of the Solstice Roadster took place in Wilmington, Delaware. Imagine being able to be magically whisked away to Delaware. Hi, I'm in Delaware. Production began in mid-2005 for preparation for the 2006 model year. It was powered by a naturally aspirated 2.4 liter I-4 engine producing 177 horsepower and 166 foot-pounds of torque. The production car's futuristic exterior styling did not stray far from the original 2002 Solstice concept design. In 2009, a new hardtop target top model arrived. All Solstices were built upon the GM Kappa platform. Other cars on this platform were... The Saturn Sky. The Opel GT and the Daewoo G2X. The Solstice was Pontiac's first two-seater since the Fiero was discontinued in 1988. The Solstice was extremely successful. Pontiac received 7,000 orders in the first 10 days of availability with an additional 6,000 more orders being placed before winter. GM had only planned to produce 7,000 cars for the first year of production. They had to apologize to customers for production delays. Production was increased and 10,000 cars were delivered by March 1st. The 2008 economic recession forced GM to discontinue the Pontiac division. Solstice production ended with the closure of the Wilmington assembly plant in July 2009. I was today years old when I learned there was a Solstice Coupe. The Solstice Coupe had a two-year production run 2009 and 2010. The Target Top Coupe Solstice was unveiled at the 2008 New York Auto Show. Engine options were the same as the convertible version. The Target Top was removable, but there was not enough room to stow it in the car. An optional cloth target top was available, which could fit in the trunk. The coupe went on sale in early 2009. The Solstice coupes are redonkulously rare. There were only a total of 1,266 Solstice coupes manufactured. The Solstice also had a Spicy Boy version, the Pontiac Solstice GXP. The GXP debuted at the Los Angeles Auto Show in January 2006. It was powered by the new 2-liter i4 ecotech turbocharged engine the engine's output was 260 horsepower and it had 260 foot pounds of torque the ecotech 2 liter turbo had the highest specific output of any engine by cubic inches in the history of general motors the engine produced 2.1 horsepower per cubic inch it was also the first american-made direct injection gasoline engine the gxp also featured stabila track which was gm speak for traction control it was also equipped with anti-lock brakes and limited slip differential Summer tires on big, pimpin' 18-inch wheels were standard equipment. General Motors also offered a dealer-installed performance tune as an option. The tune upped the power to 290 horsepower and 340 foot-pounds of torque. Stock performance. 0 to 60 times had a great overview on Solstice 0 to 60 and quarter-mile times. Edmonds tested the GXP Coupe, which was the quickest Solstice. Point the Solstice GXP in a straight line and you get exactly what you expect. 60 miles per hour comes up in 5.5 seconds, two seconds quicker than a hardtop Miata. The GXP makes short work of the quarter mile too. Aftermarket performance. Cold air intake. Lumpier cams. Header. Cap back. GXP Turbo Upgrade Handling Goodies Coilovers Porn Star Brakes Racing Solstices are commonly drag raced That Solstice GXP took that Solstice to Gapplebee's they are right at home on the road course. Uh, 
Auto crossing comes second nature. Solstices make great drift cars. Apparently, the solstice works well off-road. Perhaps the best use of these solstice is to blast down a country road with the top down on a beautiful summer's day. Hey, wait! What was that? Holy crap, another jackalope sighting! Run. Buying a Pontiac Solstice. There are a few things to look out for when it comes to these cars. It is very common for the differential axle seals to leak. Make sure to check them and replace them if they are leaking. If left to leak, differential damage could occur. The shocks commonly develop leaks, even on low mileage examples, so make sure to inspect them. Solstices have low ground clearance. Make sure to check under them for body damage that might not be apparent if you're not lying on your belly. The passenger side seat occupancy sensor is known to malfunction. A faulty sensor will cause the SRS light to constantly be lit and could cause other airbag issues. It would be a good idea to cycle the top up and down a few times to make sure the top mechanism is working smoothly. The soft top mechanism is complicated and misalignment of the top mechanism can cause several issues. There is a silver panel with two raised sections behind the seat called the tulip panel. Top misalignment can cause the tulip panel to crack or get damaged. There is also a good chance of water leaks and unsightly gaps if the top is not aligned properly. Haggerty claims a 2006 base model Solstice's average value to be $9,300. Haggerty also claims the average value of the 2010 Solstice GXP to be $14,700. The coupes are crazy rare and the 2009 GXP coupes average price is said to be $27,300. The convertible Solstice's are bargain priced at the moment. The values are definitely on the rise, so get yourself one soon. Thanks for watching Jason Bowman Loves Cars and my story of the Pontiac Solstice. Hope you enjoyed it. Please remember to like, subscribe, and comment. Hello, I am Jackie McLaren. I interrupt this YouTube show for an important service announcement. Jackalopes only kill, on average, 15 humans per year. That is only slightly more than sharks. Therefore, there is no reason to be terrified of us. Thank you for your understanding. Now back to your regularly scheduled program.